Hey guys, welcome to Mighty Minute. The show doesn't always a minute, but as always, Mighty, I'm your host, Mighty Gazelle, here to tell about the things going on behind the scenes of my channel. And today, I have some very cool news. Uh, two bits of information that are actually very exciting to me. Um, one of which you guys won't directly see, but will affect the channel. The other which you will see, and I really hope you guys enjoy when the video comes out very soon. Uh, we'll get to that toward the end of the video, but first to have some... Uh, important progress updates on my series, as well as uh, shoutouts to Patreons. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first and foremost, I'm doing two reaction series at the moment, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2 and Game of Thrones. Uh, Mob Psycho Season 2, I want to apologize. Episode 2 should have been up by now, but when it went up on Funimation on Friday, I believe, uh, I, I set aside some time to sit down and record that episode, and I was ready to do it. But Funimation's site is sometimes kind of terrible. Uh, the episode was up, and it was able to be viewed, but there was, like, error every time I tried to upload the video, or to record the video. Um, so I was not able to record the reaction that night. I have checked since, and it looks to be working now, so I'll record that after this video. I'll record that tonight um, and get that uploaded to you guys sometime this week. Uh, so stay tuned for Mob Psycho. I know a lot of you guys are really happy I was reacting to Season 2. Episode 1 was phenomenal, and I can't wait for what season or Episode 2 has. Um, second reaction series is Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying the show so far. Uh, it's <laughs> I'm definitely glad I decided not to show any of the video, because um, not only are the hour-long episodes, and I, I, just, I can't put the video up uh, for legal reasons... Um, but there is a lot of nudity, there is a lot of uh, sexual themes, uh, murders, uh, blood, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I made the right choice there, but I'm really happy a lot of you guys are enjoying the reaction series. I understand it's not as popular as my anime ones, but that's okay. Uh, I also get that I'm way behind for where the current episodes are, but I, I think all of you who actually watched the whole video and actually replied to my comment or my questions that I have throughout the episode... Um, you guys are being very respectful by not revealing any of the spoilers, anything like that. So got, thank you guys so much. Uh, really, really enjoying the series so far. Um, okay. Time for some Patreon shout outs. We have the mightiest of citizens. We have Jake and Claude R. Ellis. Thank you guys for your support every month. I really appreciate it. Um, we have a new patron. I, he joined the burning desire for justice tier. It is and man. And he actually, one of the new uh, rewards for joining the Burning Desire for Justice tier is you also get to ask a question every month. Um, and his question is, one series that I, is there one series that I wish I could have on YouTube but can't for whatever reason? Um, technically, I could do whatever series I want on YouTube, on, like reaction or uh, Let's Play, uh, anything like that. I could technically do any of them. Obviously, each one has its own challenges in terms of what I can show and what can't show. Um, I'd say I'd really like to do a let's play of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, but I just feel like, oh, to be fair, I did do a let's play of Kingdom Hearts 1, but that was before I had any subscribers to my channel. I had like 80 subscribers and I didn't even finish the game. I got to like basically the end of the game. I got to Maleficent. Uh, so there's a few more hours left of that game, but I didn't finish it. And I'd like to go back and redo it all and actually complete the game. But uh, the reason I don't do it is because I feel like, uh, for one, it would take a lot of time. That's not the big issue, though. Uh, the big issue is I don't think a lot of people would be interested. I think a lot of people would rather see me do uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. But that's the thing. I, I only really want to do Kingdom Hearts 3 if I could build up and do the main games of the series and lead up to it. I think that would be more proper instead of just jumping into 3. That way, you guys would know all my thought process throughout the whole series. And I wouldn't have to, like... Uh, say things you guys wouldn't understand for Kingdom Hearts 3, because the story is really convoluted. Um, but yeah, that that would be the series that I would I would say. Um, so thank you for the question. Thank you for your support. And man, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for joining the Burning Desire for Justice tier. Uh, and then we have the Mightiest of Heroes. We have Tim Nutting and Kim. Thank you guys so much for being so supportive. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, Tim Nutting has a question for this month as well. Uh, what is the most difficult game I've ever played? Um, it's an interesting question because if there's ever a game that's backbreakingly difficult, I usually don't complete it. Uh, not that I don't, I can't accept the challenge. I love a challenge in a game, but so I'm going to, 
I'm going to answer this question by saying the most difficult game that I've completed because I feel like that's more of a fair question. Um, I'd say, honestly, Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Uh, if anyone watched my Let's Play of that game, uh, I had a lot of I had a great time playing it. It was a really, really fun game. Uh, I do think the first one's better, but Echoes was honestly pretty challenging. There's a lot of boss fights in there that gave me fits. Um, a lot of the time it was difficult trying to find where to go next. Uh, but I did complete it. It was a very difficult game. Uh, I really am happy that I recorded my uh, blind let's play of that on my channel. Um, so that is my answer to that. Uh, thank you, all my patrons. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, thank you. Can't thank you guys enough. Okay, so now on to the exciting bits of information that I have to share with you guys. The first one may not seem that exciting to you guys, but I finally have a new setup in front of me. Uh, you guys can't tell. Uh, because everything looks the same to you, but I have a brand new desk and I have a two monitor setup. I have a brand new monitor right here and I'm using my old monitor as my second monitor right here on this side. It's kind of weird because the camera, uh, it's right here. Um, and it really so far has really improved. Uh, like I've only done one episode of game of Thrones recording with this, but it, it helps so much because I can see the episode here. And over here, I can monitor the recording, like the the camera and the the Audacity voice channel. Um, so it can I can immediately tell if something's wrong and fix it. Uh, really helpful. Also with streaming, it's gonna be great. Anyway, getting ahead of myself, I recorded a video showing the completion of this desk and the new setup. So I'm gonna include that here now. All right, guys, I am back and I have completed building my desk. Took a few hours, but. The beast is done. This is my new setup for my YouTube channel, as well as just in general. Uh, new monitor right there, webcam, old monitor. I got my Blue Yeti, the computer, obviously, and my chair. Yeah, this thing is a great desk. I am very happy I got it for on sale, by the way. It was a good price at uh, Office Max. Um, I'm really excited. This could offer, offer some new opportunities for me. Uh, mainly, I used to, when I streamed a game, I would only have one monitor to use. And honestly, it's kind of difficult because I would have to put my phone on the side and have that be my chat. Uh, so now I can have a game pulled up. And I, have, I can run the, the stream on the other monitor. Uh, it'll be really great. So I can stream more games for you guys. I was hoping to stream Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Switch. Uh, Switch over there as well as My Hero Academia uh, One's Justice on PS4. I can bring that over here as well. Um, but regardless, really exciting. I've been in dire need of an update to my uh, setup for a long time. I've been using this small desk over here for literally... Uh, I've had that desk for like six or seven years now. I'm going to find a home for it, either at Goodwill or maybe a friend will want it uh, to be determined. But yeah, hope you guys... Enjoy this peek behind the curtain. This is what I view every time I pull up a Game of Thrones episode or a Mob Psycho 100 episode. And this is probably what I'll be I'll be watching My Hero Academia right here as well. You know, things like that. So, hope you guys enjoy this. And until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys. Okay, and that was my little video that I recorded. I did record a first part where I showed the old desk, but I, I kind of decided not to include that because I feel like I've shown that off before. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys think it's cool. I think it's cool. Um, like I said, I found a great deal at Office Max, and yeah, I sprung on it. Definitely needed it. Been a long time coming. Been really wanting to get a new desk. Helps with the flow of work behind the scenes. Um, so that's the scene. That's the stuff that you guys won't be seeing really, but it'll affect the channel in a good way. Uh, what you will be seeing is I have alluded to for a while now that I've been working on a My Hero Academia related video. And in fact, I have. I've actually been done with the voice recording and the gathering of all the video I need for a while now, but I was waiting on a certain uh, element to it to be completed. And what I mean by that is I actually hired a um, the guy who made my... Uh, channel icon in the background and uh, all the videos, all the uh, avatar images you see at the beginning on the thumbnail of the uh, Mighty Minute videos. Uh, I actually hired him to do an extra piece of art for me or multiple pieces of art uh, for a, how do I, how do I describe this? 
Let's just say I've had a vision for something I could do for a video series for a long time now, and I'm finally now at the precipice of getting that done. Uh, I can't really, I don't want to show it here. I'm not going to show what it is, but hopefully I can incorporate the new art that I have into the video that I've pretty much done. Uh, and I'll have that hopefully uploaded this Saturday. That's my goal. Uh, Saturday, 1 PM. I'll let you guys know if that changes, but I would really love to get that up this weekend. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys enjoy it, please share it with your fellow My Hero Academia fans. Uh, this is more of a test run. Uh, the subject of the video is uh, a top five related thing to My Hero. And it's more of a test run to see how this new format works. But I did put a lot of effort into it. Uh, I did write a script. I did record all the scripts. And uh, I will be editing all of that into the video. So it's going to take a couple days for me to edit here. But uh, I, should, I should have it done in time for Saturday. I really hope I do. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited. I can't really show anything here, but just just know it's cool. It's really cool. Um, it's definitely the first kind of new thing my channel's had in a long time. The last, honestly, the last big thing my channel's had was the introduction of my Watch with Mighty series. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say about that for the moment. But again, hope you guys enjoy that when it comes. Um, so yeah, that is about it for my uh, update video this month. Uh, thanks again to all my Patreons. Thank you guys for watching all my reaction videos and commenting. And uh, it, it, I love doing YouTube, and you guys are one of the main reasons that I love it. Um, so, until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.